video is a guide to highlighting and shading. Highlighting and shading are what defines an object. The shadows and highlights in a painting or drawing give this subject shape and form. They turn a flat red ball, kind of like the apple on the left, into an apple. Highlights and shadows give your artwork depth and dimension and take it from a flat, lifeless image, like the one on the left, to a three-dimensional object that attracts the viewer's eye. In order to be able to add the correct highlighting and shading to your artwork, you've got to understand the basics of how light reacts with objects it hits. Let's look at this apple here sitting in the sun. When light hits an object, it forms highlights where the light directly touches the object, like right here on the top of the apple. The areas that are hidden from the light become shadows down here below the apple and on the ground behind it. In order to draw accurately, you've got to determine where the light source is located to get the proper placement of your highlights and shadows. Shadows are not just black. In reality, they are lots of different values. Let's take a look at this apple here to determine where the correct location for highlights, shadows, and cast shadows would be, the form shadow and cast shadow, based off of this light source. So right now we've got this picture of a real apple. The light source we can tell is coming from the upper left-hand corner because we can see the highlight at the top or highest part of the apple. And it's so light that it's blending in with the white background behind it. The form shadow is the part of the object itself that's furthest away from the light, and it's the darkest part of the object. The form shadow is down at the bottom. And finally, the cast shadow is created by the object blocking the light and making the shadow on the ground underneath it. So here we can see where the highlights, form shadow, and cast shadow would be located based off of a light source coming from the upper left-hand corner. Here is a painting of an apple. I hope that you notice it looks much more realistic than the first drawing we saw at the beginning of this video. Where is the light source? Can you locate the form shadow, the darkest part of the apple? Can you locate the cast shadow? The object, the apple, is blocking the light and forming a shadow on the surface below it. Did you find the form shadow, cast shadow, and highlights? The light source for this work is on the upper right-hand side. When you're ready to make your own art, you'll want to make sure you start with an accurate drawing, think about your light source after your base color's in, so you don't end up with a work like this one. The light source is in the upper left. There's no reason a highlight would be in the middle of the apple. Put your highlights and shadows in the right spot based off the light.